Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, over the next seven days, we're tracking three systems that will bring precipitation. Valentine's Sunday, Tuesday, and then next Thursday. And each one, rather than just all snow, will bring really a variety of precipitation. The messy mixture, snow, sleet, freezing rain, that kind of a deal. So now through then, through uh, Saturday evening, it's dry, a cold and north situate, partly cloudy skies. This is one of the colder areas now, temperature down to about 15 degrees, and many of us will fall below 20 overnight. And, and in some cases in the northwest part of the state, make it down to around eight, nine degrees above zero. So the threat tracker now through uh, Friday and Saturday, low level green. Uh, keeping an eye on late Saturday night, though, sun to clouds. If you have you didn't do Valentine's dinner on a Saturday night, Saturday evening dinner plans. It looks good. But if you have a late dinner reservation, be mindful that near midnight, we'll start to see some snow and sleet arriving. So midnight and beyond, we'll start to see some mixed precipitation. And that really spills over into all of Sunday. It's kind of a mess. It's not a major storm. I think the precipitation amounts are light. But because it's a frozen mixture, not just morning now, but afternoon as well, you know, roads will get slick, at least untreated ones. So that's the next system that we'll watch closely. But very quiet across New England. Uh, the pieces that we're watching for Valentine's Sunday, one is moisture coming out the Gulf of Mexico, so that's our moisture source. And two is a disturbance within the jet stream coming across the Pacific Northwest right in here. This will drive across the southern plains, initiate, will tap into this Gulf moisture and initiate a storm across the southeast, which will eventually arrive here uh, off our coastline on Sunday. So this is Saturday morning. We're dry. The storm is still down towards the Carolinas and Florida. Take it to Saturday evening at around nine o'clock. Still dry, but you see the developing moisture off the mid-Atlantic coastline. And then here comes the sheet of a messy mix by Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon. Blue is snow, pink is a, a mixture of sleet and freezing rain, and the green is rain. I think really all three, both morning and afternoon. As far as snow amounts, because it's a mixture, I don't see a lot of snow, maybe picking up an inch of snow on Sunday, but it's still slippery regardless. So get back to this evening and overnight. Here we are by tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Very cold, around 10 degrees to start the day. A mix of clouds and sunshine, only topping out in the upper 20s. It's a solid 10 degrees below average, so a cold day. But we are dry Friday evening and later Friday night at 11 o'clock. Temperatures back down to about 15 to 20. So very cold early in the morning with a blend of clouds and sunshine and no precipitation. So we don't have any issues with ice or snow or rain and same deal in the afternoon. Grab a warm coat. Temperatures topping out only 28 degrees, 29 should be 40 this time of year. So most of Saturday, especially the daylight hours are dry. Here comes that mix. It's light, but it is significant as far as travel on Valentine's Sunday, both morning and afternoon, wet snow, sleet and freezing rain, a temperature at 33, a little bit of a breather on Monday. Then another system is on tap for Tuesday. That one may be a more important storm. So stay tuned. Temperature on Tuesday at about 31. So Mike and Shannon, lots of ups and downs. Thursday, another system. So keeping us on our toes in the weather center. Why don't you just block all of that? I know. That? I was just going to say, don't move. Just, <laughs> just do yeah. that. All right. Thank you, Tony. All right.